So you need a booking solution, right? Nobody wants to do the back and forth emails. What time works for you? What time zone are you in? Calculation, mathematics. We didn't leave school to start doing mathematics. Now, that's why you need something that helps you with booking your meetings and your calls and making things really easy, especially if you work with clients across different time zones and everybody has different schedules, including if you want to book a, team, a meeting with somebody personally or for what whatsoever reason that's why i'm very excited to introduce tidy cal today now i know that there are lots of platforms and other solutions that currently exist for example before this i use book like a boss there's acuity there is calendly and lots other platforms that you can use for booking calls and meetings now one thing i want to say before we continue is that if you have a team then this is not for you this is for solopreneurs specifically because it's a very simple calendar solution it is not something that you will use if you have a team this is the way i see it if you can afford a team then you're better off using something more robust like schedule ones or calendly and without further ado let's go into today's um software of the day we're talking about tidy cal right this is what happened so tidy cal is currently on lifetime deal and it is done and it was made rather by the AppSumo team which is really cool the other platform that AppSumo has made so far is king sumo which is for giveaways and send fox which is for email marketing you can check them out but today we're going to talk about the calendar solution it's very simple and straightforward it's for booking meetings it connects with your google calendar and it's on lifetime deal for just 19 dollars. so if you've been looking for something Thing that gives you more flexibility than the calendly free plan this is for you so as usual we're going to um redeem the code that we've purchased and together we're going to do it so let's click on activate so this is using the new um tf feature rather than a code so verify the email address you want to use on the partner site to activate the product so yep let's activate oh sorry i've already used it so i'm going to use another email right let's activate that give it a few seconds ah there we go all right so this is my name i'm just going to stick to this password and i'm going to register the account so i already previously created a tidy cal account for another email address but this is different and i want to show you guys what it looks like on the inside so tidy cal is pretty straightforward it's a small tiny calendar so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to change the profile picture now i'm actually using this for a business not just a personal like booking system so i'm going to put the logo right and i'm going to leave my name but my time zone is let's see let's go with this i think that's closer i prefer the 12 hour format usd booking pages in english we're going to change the title to the automation experts and i'm going to click on save changes so all of these has been updated and now i'm going to show you what it's like so if you're familiar with calendly or any other booking platform this looks more similar to calendly because it comes with the same like default options now they have a default 15 minute meeting 30 minute meeting 60 minute meeting now you can edit each of these to suit whatever use case that you have so we can call this um, a free client consult and you can actually edit the url to whatever you want so let me just make this free consult and say book a meeting with me so say let's chat about your tech and automation needs pick a time that works for you and go. all right so we're going to choose the event duration and let's just say 30 minutes 
and then we get to choose the minimum meeting padding so what this means basically is that like how much do you want between each booking so i would like roughly 20 minutes so that i can rest i like to drink water just in case i'm booked back to back then you have to choose your availability for this event so we have monday tuesday wednesday thursday friday i usually do 9 a.m to 3 p.m for calls and another thing you can do is that if you want to take breaks in between you can add an extra time so let's say we make this 9 a.m to 12 p.m and then we can make this one 1 p.m to 3 p.m so that gives us 12 to 1 as a break period when nobody can actually book a call so you get to choose whatever works for you i'm just going to change all of these to 9 a.m this and then i'll change this on fridays i like to book calls at 1 p.m max because i like to take a half day and the rest will be 3 p.m All right, we've changed everything. You can now add extra questions besides their name and email address if you want it to be inside of your booking. So I'm going to add a new question and say, do you have any information I should know before the call? All right, that's one question. You can have as many questions as you have. As you want then i'm going to click on update so it has updated it and if i go back to booking type i can see what is going on here then i click on copy link and i'm going to paste and you see that this is what it looks like i think it looks really cool right and then somebody can book a call you pick the date they pick the time and then they can put their name email and you see this is the question i asked do you have any information i should know prior to the meeting and then they can book an event so let's try that out awesome should i have any information let's say no and click on book event and it's going to redirect them to the confirmation page it will also send them send it to their email as well as give them the option to add it to their google calendar so if you click on google calendar it opens your google calendar and it's going to add the information inside right away as well as a link to the confirmation page so let me close this and discard for now then we'll go back to the booking solution and take a look at a case where we want to do a paid booking right so i'm going to edit this particular one that has already been created for us but rather than pick out the time i'm going to, going to say i want to charge for this event and then it's going to ask me to put a price and i'm going to update the booking type now under integrations excuse me you can add your google account so i'm just going to select the random one here i'm going to say allow all permissions and it will allow Okay, it has allowed my Google account and I'm able to read my primary calendar and add reading enabled so they'll be able to see exactly like what I'm doing and be able to like put it against the time schedules that I have put inside of tidy calendar. Now, if you want to use Zoom, you can add a conference link. You can either use a static link or Google Meet right the only difference is that with normal platforms like for example we book like a bus i can integrate zoom and then use and it will automatically generate a link every single time i make a booking but if you don't have since we don't have the option of that what you can do is get your zoom meeting like your default zoom url and then you put it here so what will happen is that whenever somebody um books a call then they will be able to like use that one link the only thing that i would advise is that under your settings that you set that people will have to like join a waiting room first 
before they get into your room i don't think this is here i think it's under the actual settings when you go um when you go inside of zoom itself let me see sign into zoom and what you can do is for your meetings you can do settings that says that whenever somebody joins into your room let's see So under account settings in Zoom, you can set up a waiting room that everybody will put in a waiting room and they will have to be automatic, like they will have to wait there until you put them into the actual Zoom call. That way, if you're on call with somebody, another person cannot just barge into the call since you're using one link. And then what's going to happen is that you copy your Zoom link, right? And just let's just say this is my zoom link and then i'm going to come over to tidy car and paste it here right and then i'm going to click on save changes this is not what the link will look like just this is just a placeholder now you can also set up payment using zapier um paypal right you put your paypal email and anytime somebody buys a booking they'll be able to pay through paypal so let me put my paypal email here and i'm going to click on save paypal email then finally i'm going to um, look at the zapier automations so what can happen is that with zapier you can easily set up any other thing that you want to do so if you want to generate a new zoom link each time somebody books a call you can take out the option here but use zapier as an option to connect zoom and tidy car so this is what will happen if you try to use zapier so i'm going to try to log in okay so i'm going to accept the invite and build a zap so you click on create zap and then you search tidy car right you can choose an event when there is a new booking you select new booking click on continue and then if i sign in i'm going to authorize great i'll click on continue and then i can test my trigger there's that's it this is the correct one i click on continue and then i can decide that this goes to zoom and whenever someone books a call it will create a new meeting and then click on continue i'm going to sign into my zoom account this will only take a second and i'm going to pre-approve authorize great now i'm signed into zoom i click on continue i can now choose what meeting type this meeting topic i can just put the booking type when i can choose the date and start time time zone let's skip that no password um, duration in minutes 30 minutes and i click on continue i'll say test so let's go to zoom and see if that meeting was created 
so i'll click on view and i have the meeting set up for 9 a.m to 9 30 a.m free client consult so you can use zoom to automatically you can use zapier to automatically zap from zoom from tidy cal to zoom if you need it but you probably don't i'll tell you that i use this method this method right here i used it when i was on the free version of calendly for almost two years and it worked just fine so don't overthink it and that's basically how you set up everything with your booking and then when you come under bookings here you can see the people who have booked you can see every information that they've provided to you so that you're prepared for your meeting with them it's a very simple lightweight calendar solution you can also embed it on your website so if i copy this code and i go to let's use my landing page builder So we get HTML code and paste here, click on save, then we can preview. So you can see that the, the booking is right here embedded. It's also mobile responsive. Somebody can just book really easily answer the questions and it's done so that's it for tidy calendar it's very simple very lightweight very easy to use i'm pretty sure they are going to add a few updates moving forward but one of the reasons why you might want to go with this over the free version of calendly for instance is because with this you can actually have multiple like booking types and you can receive payments for your bookings unlike the free version of calendly where you can't so this is something that you can easily use and make yourself look more professional and do everything that you want to do concerning your bookings so i hope you really like this um i hope you like this particular review if you did and you want to grab calen um tidy cal i'll leave a link in the description you can grab it anytime i just thought it was really cool and small and nice and sometimes software should not be too complicated so let me know what you thought about tidy cal and i'll see you guys in my next video